Names of Horses by Donald Hall All winter your brute shoulders strained against collars, padding, and steer hide over the ash hames, to haul sledges of cordwood for drying through spring and summer, for the Gledwood stove next winter, and for the simmering range. In April you pulled cartloads of manure to spread on the fields, the dark manure of Holsteins, and knobs of your own clustered with oats. All summer you mowed the grass in meadow and hayfield, the mowing machine clacketing beside you, while the sun walked high in the morning. In afternoon's heat, you pulled a clawed rake through the same acres, gathering stacks, and dragged the wagon from stack to stack, and built the hay rack back, uphill to the chaffy barn. Three loads of hay a day from standing grass in the morning. Sundays you trotted the two miles to church with the light load of a leather quarter top buggy and grazed in the sound of hymns. Generation on generation, your neck rubbed the window sill of the stall, smoothing the wood as the sea smooths glass. When you were old and lame, when your shoulders hurt bending to graze. One October the man who fed you and kept you and harnessed you every morning led you through corn stubble to sandy ground above Eagle Pond and dug a hole beside you where you stood shuddering in your skin and lay the shotgun's muzzle in the boneless hollow behind your ear and fired the slug into your brain and felled you into your grave, shoveling sand to cover you, setting goldenrod upright above you, whereby next summer a dent in the ground made your monument. For a hundred and fifty years, in the pasture of dead horses, roots of pine trees pushed through the pale curves of your ribs, yellow blossoms flourished above you in autumn, and in winter frost heaved your bones in the ground. Old toilers, soil makers. O oh, Roger, Mackerel, Riley, Ned, Nellie, Chester, Lady Ghost.